everyone. Have you brought a new puppy or a new dog into your house during this crazy COVID-19 pandemic time? If you have, you may be wondering, how do I socialize my dog or puppy? Stay tuned, I'm gonna give you three tips on how to do that. I'm Denise Mazzola and welcome to today's 10 minute tip. If you have brought a new puppy into your home or adopted a new dog during this crazy time of COVID-19 and the pandemic, you've got to start thinking out of the box and how to get my puppy socialized and how to make sure that your new adopted dog also gets some socializing experience as well. And today I'm gonna to give you three tips on how to do that. The first one is you have to start to manufacture socializing events in your house, around your house, any way that you can. The other thing is you must always keep this fun for your dog. The goal, the overall goal to socialize your dog is to keep it fun, happy, silly. You want to avoid scary experiences that could have a lifetime your dog may remember those scary things for a lifetime. And in order to do that, you must carry high value food with you. For me right now, I have some cut up hot dogs and I have some meatballs, which are kind of my favorite thing. Store bought, already cooked, in the freezer section. I'm not making meatballs for my dogs, guys. So think sight, think sounds, and I would think tactile experiences, and we'll show you one of those as we go on. So for example, um, if you're able to take your dog for a walk, by all means, walk your dog. If you live on a quiet street like we do, we're at the end of a dead end street, we can walk our new puppy out here all you want, but we're not gonna see anything. So that kind of defeats the purpose, right? So w for us, we would drive into Keene, we'd park outside a little bit, everybody's practicing social distancing, which in my professional opinion is awesome for dogs and it's awesome for puppies. One, there is no risk that your dog or puppy is gonna have a scary experience with somebody if we're all practicing distancing. The other thing is, by having six feet apart, your dog and puppy will not learn naughty behaviors like jumping on people when they come up to greet them. So to me, that's a good thing. But you may need to get in your car and drive your puppy to different places. So around here, it would be drive to the, um, the mall area where Home Depot is, where TJ Maxx and Target and all those places are, and just walk them around in the parking lot. Walk them out along the sidewalks. Okay guys, so if you have a new puppy, you definitely need to make a Pavlovian association, a, a, a great, like, you need to pair bikes with high value food, skateboarders, high value food. If you were gonna try to make me happy about seeing a spider, you'd have to give me $100 bills, not quarters, okay? Now, I also don't want your puppy to get diarrhea or sick from eating a bag of hot dogs or a bag of cheese or a bag of meatballs. So you need to make a puppy trail mix. Put puppy kibble in a Tupperware container, cut up some hot dogs, cut up some kib uh, some meatballs, some cheese, mix it all in and let it just sort of marinate for a couple days. And when you put it in your bait bag, you can pull out kibble, but it's been sitting next to the chicken. It's been sitting next to the meatballs, okay? So you can still get that big bang for your buck, but your puppy's digestive system is not going to get overstressed. We don't want that to happen. Okay, so think umbrellas, um, think sunglasses, think baseball caps, think the bottom parts of maybe um, your ski equipment. So put on so your ski boots and bang around the house, put on your ski helmet, feed, feed, feed the dog, take the helmet off, put on the helmet, add the goggles, feed, feed, feed the dog, take the helmet and the goggles off. All of those things that um, your puppy is going to need to see. So really you need to think of manufacturing these socializing events if you can't get them places where they might normally go. So remember, the three tips to socializing your puppy or your newly adopted dog during a pandemic. You must think out of the box. You're gonna to have to create these events or you're gonna to have to go places where you can find them. Not inside of buildings necessarily, just different places. Home Depot, downtowns, 
street signs uh, where there's more traffic. Think, think in those terms. You're going to need to carry high value food with you. If you have a puppy, you're going to make a trail mix so that your dog's digestive system will not get upset. And thirdly, your goal is always to keep it fun, fun, fun. You don't want this to be scary where the dog might have a lifetime of being afraid of bikes or a lifetime of being afraid of whatever, people wearing hats. Have fun with this. Give it 15 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day if you have to drive someplace, all of that is fine. But each day think about, okay, today I'm gonna expose my puppy or my dog to sunglasses and everybody puts sunglasses on their house. Now, everybody in the house puts on sunglasses or masks. Like we might all be wearing masks for a really long time. So put on your masks and your sunglasses and your caps and start to say hello to your puppy and make those, make those great associations. Okay guys, so what we've done is we've just rummaged through the garage and our closets and whatever, and we've just pulled out some things. So we've got a bike, we've got a bike helmet, we've got ski goggles, and we've got some sort of a ski mask that Amy's just gonna present to Fred. And I'm gonna just show you the order, order of operations, which is let him see the thing, feed, 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 feed. Let him see the thing, feed, 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 feed. Now, Amy can come closer to him than you're going to if you don't know people, obviously, with social distancing, but she can come right up to him. And you'll see a little bit of a difference with what he does. When she puts the mask on, he's not quite so sure about it, but he doesn't seem to care about the helmet. So the goal is think out of the box. You need to manufacture different pictures for your dogs to see right? Carrying big things, wheelbarrows are good. Have your puppies outside while you're outside doing lawn work as well. All right, let's see what this looks like. Oh, there you go. Oh boy, look at that. Oh, good boy. Let's talk to him. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. Hi, doggy. Good. What's that? Okay, right there. Hi doggy. Hi doggy. So remember, in order to make this association, he needs to look at the thing. So keep talking to him again. Hi doggy, doggy. Yep, squat down, maybe. Hi. Squat down. Hi. No, oh, just seem like that. So you don't want the treats to come from the person. The treats must come from you. And I'm waiting for the poodle to look at. Amy with the goggles and the hat on before I start to make that association. Otherwise, I'm just like if I were feeding him now and he weren't looking at her, I would just be feeding sit. And what I want to do is make an association. Hey, bike helmet with ski goggles equals $100. Bike helmet with ski goggles equals $100. Okay. I just want to be clear about the order of operations for this. Yep. So face the camera too so they can. So I want, hey, doggy, doggy. Good. Hey, so I want doggy. Fred to look. Good. How's it going? Hey, and what a pretty dog. So interestingly, Fred is not going up to say hello this time as he did the time hey, before. I'm not talking to you, so this whole time he is looking at the bike. <clears throat> the neighbor dogs are also barking, so I'm going to feed him for all of that. And I can tell he's a little stressed out just because he's taking the treats much harder. So he's watching her. I'm gonna feed, he's watching. I'm gonna feed, I'm gonna walk and feed. Hi, doggy. Hi, puppy. So he's very interested in actually wanting, he wants to chase this thing more than he want, than he's worried about it. Fred. All right, you guys, so have fun with these three tips to socializing your puppy during the pandemic. Give us some comments. Give us some feedback. We'd love to hear from you. Until next week, I'll see you later. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Should I leave? <laughs> no. Nothing to do with you. The music plays. And the police keep chasing the kids away, but the kids are still sort of skateboarding in the parking lots down there. So that is...